We started talking to them. I, we like just started the label and I don't even know how I got that stuff. No, no, we knew they were from Cambridge. We hit them up. And then I think that same summer I saw them at Bonnaroo, they just exploded out of nowhere. So that was like never gonna happen. I mean, we were talking to them, we got them on a, on a compilation CD that we did, but uh, then they started to realize, oh wow, we're gonna be a really big band and no. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Jeff Casaza question for sure. We had a band called Mahler that definitely did. I was like an indie pop kid, you know, Seth too. We were always listening to, uh, like, of Montreal was like one of my favorite bands, or like Architecture and Helsinki. So just like weird pop stuff, which, you know, maybe we'll do that again. <laughs> He's like the brains and I'm the bronze. Does that make sense? Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> Yeah, that's weird. Uh, it's a thing though, for sure. Like, that's helped us so much. And we're like, we're growing a lot in it. We owe like everything to them for that. And Seth manages it well, so it works out. <laughs> I don't talk to girls. <laughs> uh, except my mom. Um, and she doesn't even know what I do. So I think. I usually just say I'm a web developer because people actually like think that's something. If I told people that I was a that I ran a record label, uh, then everybody has all these questions. They assume that means you record the music yourself or something. And I'm 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 just like so. I just tell people that I do something completely different. I don't even touch on it. <laughs> uh, I think my longest relationship in my whole life is like two months. So. Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. He's in like way in adult land and I'm just sitting here like, you know, eating Skittles in my bed at 2 a.m. watching cartoons. Uh, I'm sorry, Chris. <laughs> just cause Jeff's a pretty cool guy. We skimboard together. Can never go skimboarding with Chris. Right now I think the world is record that we just, like the world is a beautiful place and I'm no longer afraid to die. Why did I just say that? <laughs> um, with the leak, with that, with an unreal amount of orders and us just being like a few people, we kind of got overloaded and like it took us, like I think just last week we got our last orders out for that. So it's, um, that one's been a headache for sure. Uh, I'm not gonna say your records, period, sorry, but they have cool art. Uh, just because you're here, and I don't like you seeing you smile. <laughs> you're smiling this whole time. I always go back to like Hostage Com. I think Hostage Com's uh, first record is my favorite one for cover record. That, that record is just so unique, it's unreal. I'm just stoked on what we're doing in general, like time after time after time. But I think the first time where I was like, I could sense that like things were starting to take off and I was really excited about it. The My Heart to Joy, their first like full length uh, season of verse that we did with them. And that one just like got me so excited and like reinvigorated and just stoked on the label in general again. Sort of gave us like a breath of fresh air and new life at the time. And I feel like we've just kind of hit the ground running with that and haven't stopped since. Some dude named Landon tried to take it last week. I woke up and was like, boom, you've been ousted. And I'm like, no way. So that was squashed. I'm the mayor. <laughs> All right, when I'm, when I'm running, there's like, I think about stuff that I like gotta do when I get home, or I blast like Code Orange Kids, Castleus, and like video game boss music, and I'm just like, ah, the whole time. Mega Man and uh, Earthbound. I cut my hair because I'm poor. Vass is the OG. He's, he's a really good roommate in terms of like boundaries and space and he's an ideal roommate. He's the OG, I got, I got to give it up to that. Texas is the reason taking back Sunday, brand new worship. Wasn't that good? To go back to like, what do you do? For, what do you tell people you do when you run a record label? Like I basically tell people that I just sit on Tumblr all day. It's, it's weird, but my job, so much of my job revolves around being on Tumblr. It's sucks. <laughs> We're basically already married to Bridge Nine. I got some smooches for Chris and you gotta kill the competition. Adjured. 
What a turd. That makes you <laughs> such a nerd. <laughs> Tuesdays with Greg. It's not a face for video. <laughs> Next. Stop. <laughs> you, right? Yeah, duh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>